great study done recently of divergent thinking. Published a couple of years ago, divergent thinking isn't the same thing as creativity. I define creativity as the, the process of having original ideas that have value. Divergent thinking isn't a synonym, but it's a, an essential capacity for creativity. It's the ability to see lots of possible answers to a question, lots of possible ways of interpreting a question, uh, to think what Edward de Bono would probably call laterally, uh, to think not just in linear or convergent ways, uh, to see multiple answers, not one. So, I mean, there are tests. The protocol of the test, if you scored above a certain level, you'd be considered to be a genius at divergent thinking. Okay? So, my question to you is, what percentage of the people tested, of the 1,500, scored at genius level for divergent thinking? Now, you need to know one more thing about them. These were kindergarten children. So what do you think? What percentage at genius level? 80. 80, okay. 98 percent. Now, the thing about this was it was a longitudinal study. So they retested the same children five years later, age of 8 to 10. What do you think? 50. They retested them again five years later, ages uh, 13 to 15. You can see a trend here, can't you? <laughs> Now, this tells an interesting story, because you could have imagined it going the other way, couldn't you? You start off not being very good, but you get better as you get older. But this shows two things. One is, we all have this capacity, and two, it mostly deteriorates. 